Our next guest is a real-life realtor and star of the hugely popular Netflix show Selling Sunset, where she can be seen serving up a little drama while selling million-dollar estates. She's also been heating up the dance room, ballroom, with her cha-cha, Dancing with the Stars. Joining us from L.A., Chriselle Styles. Chriselle, congratulations on all the good scores, holding your own. How did it feel that, what was it, the 80s theme night where you paid tribute to uh, the, uh, what was it, the, uh, New, new kids, kids new kids on the block. Yes. Yes, it was so much fun. Thank you so much. You look beautiful. Um, but yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I love when they do the theme weeks. You know, we had Disney week, and now we had '80s week. I just think it just adds such a fun environment to the whole show, and we had a blast doing it. And I, I got a new kids on the block shout out. So it was well, amazing. that was a big deal. I saw that. You know, I have to tell you, it's so. In, I enjoy watching you do this because we know so much about you from Selling Sunset. Now this side of you, and you've been open on this journey and how it really started. At one point you were homeless and now you're living this surreal dream of selling million dollar estate. Do you pinch yourself sometimes? Like, is this real? Oh, for sure. I mean, absolutely. I think that that's the key to, you know, remembering, you know, how this, you know, this could all go away tomorrow. And so mm. just in every moment, just being grateful for it. And, um, you know, it, when that happens in your formative years, that's never far away from you, you know? So I know what it's like to have it all go away. So. In every single moment, I, I am pinching myself and I'm just remembering, you know, just live in the moment and be so grateful because these things don't happen and you're so lucky. Yeah, you know, we were looking at homes uh, all hour, tiny homes, unconventional homes, and people have talked about really scaling back, not just because of where we are in this crisis that globally has impacted all of us, but psychologically that more is not always better. But that's kind of the opposite of what you do on the show, Selling Sunset is more is more. Again, going it, back to your roots, how do you balance that? I mean, it's so true. I mean, our show is over the top and these homes are over the top. And I think that, um, you know, I kind of like um, dabbling in that world. But to be honest with you, I always remember what really matters. And, um, you know, someone's square footage is not equivalent to, you know, their morals, because I've met people on both ends of the spectrum that, you know, uh, it, it, it's just interesting. Yeah. You know, sometimes you work with people that have the biggest bank accounts and they are some of the worst and then vice versa. But, I, I, know, I know that. I know that very well. Do you have a dream house? Would, could you see yourself living? We have a couple here. They converted a school bus into a tiny house. We have others who've given it all up and lived on the road in an RV. Do you see yourself? Could you do that? You know, I could, but not for forever. You know, I think it'd be fun to take, you know, like uh, some months and go, you know, cross country or something like that, I think would be amazing. But I will be honest, I like my personal space. So <laughs> I feel like after a little while, I would want to get away a little bit. <laughs> I, I, well, I know that's right. You um, um, been open about your divorce recently um, with Justin Hartley, and you've moved on in this new chapter of your life. And I know that you did an interview recently with Entertainment Tonight where you talked about guys sliding into your DM on social media um, some hockey players. You said it, so I'm going to ask you about it. Are you are you dating or just reading the DMs? I'm just. I'm not dating. You know, I'm really busy. I'm 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 trying to work on my cha chas and my contemporaries and all this kind of stuff. So I, it's something I'm looking forward to as soon as this process is over. But hopefully, people vote, so it won't be right away. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know venture out once I'm done with this. Are you holding gonna, on I, to the DM messages? Are you are you putting the DM messages from potential suitors in a safe deposit box <laughs> to visit when you're not so busy? You know, Tamron, what it really is, is I'm just waiting to get my dancer body on and then I'm going to be like, OK, I'm ready. <laughs> I think I think people think you're just fine the way you are. You don't have to worry about that. Well, congratulations on the chat chat, all the fun you're having on the show. Thanks a lot.